Hi, now this is going to be my first hack sort of type video, I suppose. But we've all been collecting, all of the Dolly people have been collecting these Zuru or the, there's various others that are like this. But the Zuru were sort of mini surprises come in these strange segment things. It's like an orange. Now the plastic, as far as I can see, is recyclable, but you do need to check your area because some items are, some items aren't. But it sort of seems such a shame to get rid of them. Now, the ones that are the solid domes I've kept because we do cosplay and it might come in handy for something like that. So I have kept them. But these were sort of quite new to me and I had not got a clue. But I've got a clue for one of them. I don't know whether you have noticed when you get these, two of them are wider than the others. So this is a hack for two of them because the others... I've not decided what I'm doing with the others yet because they're a slightly sort of different angle. Now, this is the one I'm referring to. It's the chunkier one. So it sort of sits sort of quite deep. And the idea came up because I bought these sort of, it's like um, a little plant pot stroke fridge magnet, I suppose you could call it. And I bought these from Tesco. They were cheap anyway. Uh, I'm not saying this is a cheap hack, but this is using up, recycling, up, upscaling, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this is what I've come up with. I've made my own little mini garden in these. So it was like, I mean, the ones I got from Tesco are just white pots like this. Of course, you can colour it up however you want. Magnets on the back. I do need to check out the magnets though, because I don't think mine are quite strong enough. Uh, my son has given me a name for some that I should be buying, which are a stronger magnet. Um, so I'll pop the link in for that. And obviously I'll mention it while we're doing the actual video. But I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's quite cute. Uh, and again, I'm reusing the plastic. Um, these are just little bits and bobs that you can get hold of for a pound or so. Things like that. There's a lot of these artificial plants about at the moment. Although they're again saying that they're plastic. So yeah, we've got lots of plastic plants about. What we need is real plants, but you can't really put a real plant in there. I suppose you can get those air plants uh, that are like that, that you can pop in it. And again, just pop some on the fridge, or you could use it for some other container uh, and just magnet it to whatever you want to do that with. So this is what we're gonna have a look at making. It's nothing fancy. It's quite easy to make. It is quite cheap to make. And it's just using up those bits and bobs, isn't it? So I'm going to go top down in a second and we're going to look how we can make our own little mini magnet garden. So I will see you in a moment. I am back with our little mini fridge magnet garden. That's a mouthful, but you know what I mean. As I mentioned, I've got lots of little bits of things here which I'll talk through as we go. In fact, no, I'll just tell you what I've got. Now, you don't have to have this craft clay. This is something I've got. You can buy it very cheap. You could use plasticine. You could use anything like that. It's just something I had, so that's why I've used it. I'll show you why in a second. I have a bit of PVA glue here. I have these little sort of posies now i actually got i mean I've, obviously i've used quite a lot of it in this one i got this from the range and the reason i went for it was because well i could use the hessian as well so that's none of that is going to go to waste i will be using all of it and that did cost me two pound but you would get a few little planters out of that did i say the range i'm just looking i've got one here it wasn't the range at all it was dunelm look the label is there dunelm and then this was a full posy. Again, obviously, I've took quite a lot of it out for this one. And that was pound fifty. The other thing is, as I was mentioning in the intro, a little bit worrying, actually, how many plastic plants we do have. I mean, they're great if you're not very good with plants. I'm absolutely a nightmare. If they're outside, they're fine. If they're in the house, they're lucky. Unless they're a cactus, they're lucky to survive for me. Um, I do prefer the real thing, and we do have the real things as well. But it's my husband that usually ends up looking after them, not me. So there was that as well. Now these are the magnets i use i don't think they're strong enough i've added two more to the back of mine still not strong enough now my son said i need let me pronounce this right some neodymium dimium it's n-e-o-d-y-m-i-u-m i'll put the link in below he says they're really strong ones or the other thing you could do which would save you having to buy the magnets i mean they're only a couple of pound anyway is if you've got an old fridge magnet that you don't really want anymore peel the front off and stick it to this and then we're doing a little bit more upcycling there or you might get an old fridge magnet from a charity shop or something like that really upcycle it completely i already had these 
this is why I use them and then underneath here apart from the fact there's some lol doll earrings in there which shouldn't be in there but never mind <laughs> this is some fish gravel now we have fish that's why I have fish gravel and this is something I've not finished on here yet so we'll show you afterwards when I get to the end and what I wanted to do was just top it with this gravel again you could use a bit of moss because i know i've got some moss somewhere actually i should have thought about that i could have got the moss as well there's lots of different things and you can get like i say if you've got some old pebbles or you can find some pebbles somewhere it's a cheap way of doing it but this is what it was all about was these segments so as i mentioned two of them are larger than the other three so i've still got to think of something for the other three i've got some ideas some like little storagey things but at the moment i've not got anything definite now i've taken apart this one and that is what you get i like the big ones because they've got a proper flat back there so that is going to sit against your fridge or wherever you're going to stick it now this next bit you can paint it you can do what you want with it i wanted mine white because the ones i bought were white so i've left mine but yeah, you can paint it, you can do pictures, um, if you're used to doing face-ups, how cool would it be? You could do a doll face on it, you could do all sorts. That comes down to your personal creativity, of course. So we're going to take this and I'm going to show you what I did and how quick it was to do it. Now, this particular clay I have uh, because we cosplay, although it is starting to go off and um, because I've not sealed it properly. But it's, can you see it's just like a foam? Now, you can buy this foam clay for kiddies projects all over the place and it's only cheap. This is light. That's the other reason I chose it. Whereas if you use plasticine or something like that, uh, it might be a little bit heavier. But this is as hard as it gets. We're just going to shove that in. We need a little bit more, I think. Let's get a bit more out of there. You know, to be honest, though, Play-Doh, if you use Play-Doh and leave it out, that goes hard. So you could actually use something like that. Whatever you've got around, some sort of... I know the range sells lots of different kiddies ones. There's some that's got, like, little tiny beads in. Because you're going to cover this, so it won't matter. It's just something. Or a bit of Oasis, if you've got some Oasis. Just something that's going to be squishy. They can put a hole in and shove the plant in. That's all we are looking at for this. So approximately to the top, not too far to the top. In fact, I'm going to take a bit of that out because I want a little, oh, I've nearly knocked it flame. I want a little bit of an indentation there because I want to put some pebbles on the top. So that was that. I just shoved that in. That was it. I didn't do anything more exciting with it. I must make sure I put the lid on because further down it's not actually in bad condition. So I'll pop that one over there. And then it came to deciding what to do with the flowers. Now, again, as I mentioned, they are plastic. So they're easy enough to just snip. Now, I need a bit of a stem. So I've got to cut a few of these off. But you could keep them if you want them for other decorations, things like that. And basically, I'm just going to push it in there. That's it. That's as difficult as this gets. I've got two of these left, so I do want to put these in. I mean, they just come off like that. Um, I'm going to put them on the ends this time, not on the big, not on the middle. Yep. So one there. one there now because like i said this will sort of harden it'll hold if whatever you're using here won't harden maybe a bit of super glue or if you're patient enough pva glue which is my glue of choice but it does take a while to actually stick that's the only problem i do like a good pva glue so let's think this one here let's but again if you've got some old flowers that you sort of you've not really used or you've had a display that you don't really want anymore you can always take that apart and maybe pop bits and bobs in there now what should we go for that's like a, a mock eucalyptus isn't it maybe that one oh, i quite like that one that one i think i'm going to go for that one now these are wire and plastic so don't spoil your scissors think about what you're cutting these scissors are my do all everything scissors so that is why I don't mind using them so much. So I'm going to pop that one in the front there. Let's push it all the way down. 
you can see that and you just continue to build that up with whatever flowery bits that you've got i mean that'd be quite nice at the back wouldn't it and then maybe the eucalyptus so you can play about with however you want or like i say or whatever you have you could even make your own flowers to put in it they don't have to be plastic flowers it's really sort of and there's bits of flowers everywhere now so what i mentioned is this area then the one i've made before i left to dry so this solidified a little bit so if we grab it you can see you can still see all the white but these are quite well stuck in now so i'm quite pleased with that but this is where it's going to get messy with the fish gravel because i'm going to use a pva now i hoping this is going to work i haven't actually tried this yet so i have some pva glue here and i'm going to hopefully pour it in if it will come out of the nozzle it's coming out it's coming out so i'm filling most of this area so because it's pva it spreads nicely it will sort of find its own center and also the thing about pva glue is it dries clear so i've actually only done half you don't want to watch me do all of it so let's just move that down a little bit let it run about in fact i have i have a brush here that gets used for all sorts i'm just going to push it down a little bit right into the corner right down there there we go so as i say it dries clear so you don't need to worry about it so i'm just going to sprinkle hopefully not make too much mess some little bits of gravel i'm pushing in gently not too far can you see how that's coming together i think that's going to work quite nicely i'm quite pleased with that actually i can't actually see through me through the camera myself but you can see how it's going to work so i need a little bit more well i need quite a bit more pva glue we use a lot of pva glue in this house tell you what is in here that's annoying me is a fly i don't know where that's come from i suppose it's because the weather's turning a little bit warmer so i'm just going to push my pva right down to the edges there and the other thing if you get it on the main part you don't need to worry too much because it comes off really easy so if i let that dry for example i could just get it off i'm going to push it off now though so i'm going to pop more in more little stones big stones i'm going to do a mixture now right to the front i'm quite pleased with the effect of that i mean i've not literally just took this out of the fish tank by the way we did actually take us well my husband took a scoop of it out um and then uh, we washed it thoroughly and the fish have still got plenty so don't worry about that either so let's get some pva in here and i think i've almost covered it i think this could do with some at the back there Now, the gravel is going to make it a little bit heavier. I mean, that's why I say you don't have to use that. And I would definitely recommend you get some of these uh, other magnets or reuse a magnet you already have. I think that could be a good idea. I don't really have many fridge magnets, but I know a lot of people do get them. And, you know, there might be a tourist one or something or somebody's bought you one. And you might not want that particular magnet anymore. And then uh, you could always, uh, like I say, reuse it. That's come off now. That's not very good, is it? Where did that come from? That's going to be a super glue job. <laughs> always have super glue handy if things fall apart. Now, you will have to find a place where you can sort of sit this until the PVA has completely dried. I'm just shoving it in through the back. I think I've covered most areas there. I want to save some of this. Now, some of this will... Oh! i nearly dropped it some of this will come off you know as it dries some of them are definitely going to fix in and others are not going to be because i've just sort of sprinkled them on so that's why i've got it on a plate here so when it is dry i would just tip it up like that and make sure and if i needed to add any more i could add some more from there now so that's my little tree my tree my tree garden i was going to say it's not that's my little flower garden and these are the magnets now i just super glued these on i have noticed that some of them you can get or you can stick them on they're like strips 
now that might be a better one because you can get like magnet sheets so if you were sort of cutting it to your shape you could cover it there definitely have a little research have a look at the magnets you've got on your fridge to see as i said i've not got many so i didn't really have much to compare with um but yes i definitely need some stronger ones if you look i've looked on ebay for those ones i can't pronounce and uh, they're about three pound but i think you get 10 in a pack so they are quite good to use or again find one in the charity shop that you can recycle but that is our little garden and i'm really pleased with that i think that is really cute so that is one use for our little zuru pots now they could just be a little container you could like I say you could magnet put little magnets on the back you could just as long as the magnets are strong enough you could just pop your keys in it pop little bits and pieces pop bits of jewelry in it there are different things i just because i'd already bought one like this and i'd wanted more i thought well it's a great way of me using them up because i can pop this on my fridge then so that's it that is just my little tutorial i'm not quite used to doing tutorials like this so i hope you can see everything and understand everything i've mentioned and i'll have a little think obviously i need to finish this one as well so i can have both of these on my fridge it'll look like little hanging gardens on there by the time i've finished um but i say i hope you enjoyed what i did if you do please like share subscribe etc etc pop a comment below if you've got any other suggestions have you made anything out of these yet i know lots of people are thinking about it because we've all been sort of keeping these little bits of plastic to see what we're going to do so that was my little contribution so i will see you all very soon and bye bye for now